My name is Alan Hart and in today's video I'm going to install this BCM to this Alpha Combi Boiler. What is a BCM? So a BCM is from Vericon and it's an intelligent management system for your boiler. Also it can be adapted. So if you use it with a boiler it can tell you things like your flow and return temperatures. Also it can tell you things like fault codes. You can go into the history. You can see what the temperature temperatures were at different times also what the faults were. So if you're gonna send an engineer out to it, then you would have an idea of what parts that you might need to send with that engineer so they can get a first time fix. Also, it's adaptable, so you can add other products to it. So you can add an auto fill to it, which we will do in a separate video. And the auto fill, again, you'll be able to see what the pressure is and what the pressure is at different times and the history of it, how many times it's filled it up, etc. And then there's also other products as well. So there's like um, a multi dot, and that's for testing for damp and mold. So a lot of councils and stuff now they've got a, I think they've got an obligation to check for them type of things now. I don't know the ins and outs about that. But anyway, let's get on with this. With this, you have you have a code on the side of there. You can scan that code, and it will bring you the installation instructions up. You do also get the installation instructions in the box with this. But what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna put it on the wall here and connect it onto this boiler. The BCM is designed to work on all boiler types. So it'll work on EMS, it'll work on eBus, it'll also work on open firm. And if we just open this up, so that will suit landlords where you've got multiple uh, types of boilers in different properties. If we have a look inside here, we've got as main We've got as earth, we've got as neutral, and we've got as live connections there. And what we need to do there, there is main connections that, that so your main live, neutral, and earth. And what we'll do, we'll wire that to the boiler, and we'll wire that to the feed that comes into the boiler. And then on here, you've got some different connections here. We'll we'll look at them in a bit more detail shortly. So I'll turn the power off to the boiler. I'll make sure it's all electrically safe. And then we'll remove the case and then we'll connect the wires in. So yeah, let's go on with it. So I'm just going to connect the BCM onto the wall now. So I'm just going to put it on here and we'll mark it, drill it and connect, put it onto there. When we look at the wiring here, we can see that this alpha boiler has actually got the thermostat or the receiver for the thermostat. It's got it built into the boiler. And then wires there, they're, they're the wires, they're, they're for open firm. So you'd need to check with the boiler that you're working on, check the installation instructions, but we're gonna remove these wires here, and then these wires, we're gonna connect them to BCM, and then we're gonna bring some wires back from BCM, and we're gonna connect them into here. But I'll show you that shortly. So just mark all that, drill it, screw it onto the wall, and then wire it up. So if we have a look here, we've got us, We've got us earth in, we've got us neutral in there, and we've got us live. And they're going back to the boiler. So we've used that. So the spur, when you turn the spur on and off, that will turn this off and the boiler off at the same time. And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to connect, just put some pigtails on there. But I'm going to connect these into this open firm and bring that, this one here from the boiler, is going to go to B1 and B2 and then these wires here from the thermostat receiver are going to go to T1 and T2 so if you remember B as boiler so B1 B2 and then T as thermostat T1 T2 so that's what I'm going to do now so I've totally wired the BCM up now so I've got as live as neutral and as earth in there and then we've got as connections for if we go on here We've got us T1 and T2, and T1 and T2, they go back and they go to the receiver for the thermostat. And then if we have a look on B1 and B2, they go to the open firm connections on the boiler. You'd need to check with your own installation instructions for that. And if you do get, if you've got any questions with that, then give um, Vericon a call, and I'm sure they'll, they'll help you out the best they can. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to fit the Vericon top cover onto here now. And on there, you've just got that code there. And if you scan that with your phone, it'll take you into the app. 
So if you set that up, it's really straightforward. It asks you to make and model a boiler. You can put in postcode details, whatever. Um, and as I said, that's just a step-by-step -step guide on that. But we'll just put this on here now. And then all we need to do then is just put the fuse back in and turn the boiler on. So we'll just turn the power back on now. And then once we've turned the power on, we'll then go through the portal and we'll register the BCM to the boiler. And then you'll get your, your lights will come on here. At the minute we've got a flashing red light. But once that's, I've already connected this to cloud. Um, so we'll get a green and a red light, which is what we've got now. Um, and it should be all working. What we'll do now, I'll go inside. It's a bit cold, <laughs> a bit cold out here. Uh, we'll go inside and we'll have a look at the portal. So if we look in the boiler portal, we've got info. We can see the connection, it's online. Devices, okay. We can look at the boiler GC number. So this would be really useful for landlords. We can see the manufacturer's alpha. And we can also see the model type. We can see the hot water temperature. We can also see the heating temperature on this. So we can see it's 53 degrees there. You can see you can set the maximum heating. If we go to address, we can set address in here. Occupiers details, which that's just my AH. Fault history. So in here, I've purposely put a fault on so we can show that we, we've got some fault history. And then if we go to history, we can see any, any logs that's happened. So this is just me setting it all up and playing with it as, as I've been installing it. And then maintenance, you can put any notes, fault resolution action in there. You can add notes. And then you can go to um, telemetry, which this tells you, depending on what um, products you've got on this, at the moment we've just got the boiler. So we can see the flow temperature. We can see the room temperature, we can see the return temperature, we can see the target temperature. So that is really, really useful. I, I think that's I think that's brilliant to be honest. And then we can go to compliance, any records that you have in there, and then device connected devices. So you can see what devices you've got connected. So at the moment we've just got the standard alpha control. But yeah, that's the that's the portal. So as I say, that's the portal. Let me know what you think, put a comment below. Let me know what you think to that. One thing, one key thing, really important thing really, is the BCM, it actually connects to the internet. So it's got its own built-in 2G SIM card, which will automatically connect. Once you set it up with your portal, it'll connect to internet. So you don't need to connect to the tenant's Wi-Fi or the tenant's internet, which I think is really good as well. Um, the other thing, if, you, if, you're a, if you're a big massive landlord, so say for instance you've got 30,000 houses, you might have multiple boilers from different brands and you're better to add all them different types of boilers onto your portal with your, with your BCMs and then obviously you put your auto fills on, you would put your multi dots on there and it'll just, yeah, it'll just give you so much information. Um, if you've got any questions, put them in the comments below. As I say, I'm going to do a video on the autofill and on the multi-dots. So if you put any questions on this video today, then what I'll do is I'll try and answer them on the next on the next video that I do, which, as I say, will be the autofill video. So, yeah, hope this video has been of some use. Um, thanks for watching.